Hello everybody, SuperMe84 here, and welcome to another Sonic Let's Play. For this Let's Play, we are doing my number one favorite 3 Sonic game of all time, and the one that got me into it, becoming a Sonic fan. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the Nintendo GameCube. Now, for those of you who are not aware, I actually did a complete Let's Play of this game back in 2015, and it was really bad. I mean, the quality looked bad. The sound was bad, like you can like hear crunchy noises because of how loud the sound was. So I decided I wanted to do a redo of this game. Not only that, but also to celebrate this game's 20th anniversary. Because it was on this day, June 23rd, 2001, Sonic Adventure 2 was released for the Sega Dreamcast. And then Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the Nintendo GameCube a year later. And this was actually the first Sonic game released on a Nintendo console. I'm not kidding. Anyway. Uh, wait, which file? Okay. Uh, you know, we'll just delete this file. Yeah. And we'll just create a new one. So, anyway, before we get into the story, if we go to the options menu, you know, we can customize our own menu screen. Yeah, see, we got, um, Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, Eggman, Rouge, and Shadow. Um, there are other four, uh, uh, customized you, you have to unlock, uh, in the Chow world, which, uh, uh, includes, uh, Amy. But for now, I'll keep it like this. Alright, let's get out of here. And if we go to extras and we go to sound test, sound test. we can listen to music. Alright, let's get out of here and let's go to the story mode. So, in this game, we got two stories to choose from. The hero side story, where we play as Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails. Or the dark sto side story, where we play as Dr. Eggman, a new commerce to the franchise, Shadow the Hedgehog, and Rouge the Bat. So, for this episode, we're going to go with the hero side story. So, without further ado, let's get this party started. Sigma Alpha 2 heading due south over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured hedgehog aboard. Over. That's a 10-4. Cargo secured on board and... What? The Didn't copy that. Is over. Gone. He's taking out everyone aboard and... What's wrong? Come in. Over. Freeze. What do you think you're doing? Get that hedgehog. <laughs> troops suddenly showed up saying they were looking for me. Looks like they might be taking me for a ride somewhere. Hey, what's this? Handcuffs? Wait a minute, what are you talking about? I'm not a deserter from any military facility. I thought it may be some kind of joke, but this isn't funny. I gotta get out of here. All right. So here's our first stage, City Escape, Escape from the Military Pursuit. Alright, if you know this song, then get on your feet and sing. If you don't, that's fine, because you're probably new to this game. Are you ready? Here we go! Hurt! 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 Hurt!
I mean, you gotta admit, City Escape is definitely one of the most memorable stages in the Sonic franchise because of the level of design, and once you hear the music, it will never get it out of your head because of how catchy it sounds. Um, so, if you hold the A button when you're on a ramp, you can perform tricks. Uh, if you press the A button two times, he can still be able to perform uh, a helming attack and use it when he's close to an enemy. And this is the first game we are introduced to the world's most obnoxious thing in the Sonic franchise, Oma Chow, a robot chow that gives you tips to help you throughout the entire game. So Sonic is a speed character and he controls the same as he did back in Sonic Adventure like, like I said. He can do a homing attack on enemies, you can also get item boxes such as rings, bombs, extra life, health, speed shoes, invincibility, shield, and power ups as well. Which we'll get later, by the way. Um, you can also swing on the, those bars. When Sonic shows a color wave when he swings forward and backwards, that's when you want to jump. And this is also the first Sonic game that introduced the grinding mechanic that lets you grind on rails. And Sonic fans like the grinding mechanic so much that Sonic Team would use it in future games. So this is section 2 of the stage where we have to get away from the gun semi truck that's chasing us. Yeah, this truck can plow through traffic. Come on Sonic! Come on Sonic! Alright, that's City Escape. Yeah, and Sonic Adventure 2 is the first Sonic game to rank your score, like, cool. what grade you get to say. And we get an A rank. And we get our first emblem. This game of tag is boring. I'm out of here. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? Okay, bring it Fighter on! Fighter Group Bigfoot reporting to headquarters. Intruder has been located. Copy that. So here's our first boss fight, the F-60 Bigfoot. So our objective here is that we have to aim for the cockpit because that's its weak spot. And you want to be careful evading its minigun and missiles. Uh, you can jump on these boxes here and homing attack the mech while it's airborne. But you have to wait until the mech comes close to you, otherwise it's not going to work. Or you can wait until it touches the ground and starts firing its missiles. Hey guys, take care. And we beat it in 36 seconds. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on! The military has mistaken me for the likes of you! So I'm gonna have to call the police on you for framing me! Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! I'm the world's ultimate life form. There's no time for games. Farewell! Man, my boy Sonic got arrested. talking about that emerald's mine you got that the master emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the chaos emerald that makes it very powerful what the what? 
look who's calling who at me. I came here following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald, is it not? Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I can use it for something. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, knucklehead. Not if I can help it. What? And then Angel Island fell into the ocean once again with no casualties. What was that all about? And look what you did to my emerald! We were just choking Knuckles! Prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. Doesn't matter. I'll look into it once I get back to the base. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. I'm Knuckles the Kid. But you can call me Knuckles. Once again, the Master Emerald was stolen from Angel Island. The thief turns out to be this know-it-all Batgirl of all things. When that Batgirl was within my reach, who do you think shows up? Yep, that's right, Eggman. He came just in time to spoil my plan, and even tried to take the Master Emerald. I managed to break the Master Emerald into pieces before Eggman managed to escape. Now I have to find the pieces. That Batgirl is after the pieces as well. I have to collect them all and put the emerald back together quickly. You know, when Rouge made that scream, it sounded like one of the pieces that the Master Emerald stabbed her in her eye. Anyway, stage two, Wild Canyon. Find three pieces of the Master Emerald. And we're playing as Knuckles the Echidna. He still has the same gameplay style as he did back in Sonic Adventure. And, you know, he's a, he's a treasure hunter. And you have to find the three pieces of the Master Emerald by using the radar. Meaning that, you know, if it's, if it's green, that means you're near to it. If it's yellow, that means you're getting closer. And if it's red, that means it's right there. Whether it's in front of you, behind you, buried, or buried from you. Yeah. In this game, the radar is completely butchered. Like, in Sonic Adventure, the radar was able to detect three air molds at once. If you're getting close to them. But here, the radar only detects one. And I don't understand why they did that. It's like they fixed something that wasn't even broken. And, you know, Knuckles can able to still glide and climb through walls. Alright, I need that one emerald left. Oh, where is it? Oh my gosh! Why did they put it there? Oh, okay. Good. Did it in one minute and 24 seconds. Let's see, what do I got? Hey! Yeah, this is perfect. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like or a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.